Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. So today, my digital scale arrived. Now, before I had this, and you've seen it on the show a lot, and it served me well. It's a completely analog, passive, dumb device, but well-designed. This one is branded Ortofon, although I believe that it is a generic product that companies can brand. It's literally a piece of plastic with a metal weight in one end and this little teeter-totter deal and it allows you to measure uh, tracking force up to approximately four grams which is all fine and good however it's imprecise and if you go over five grams you know assumedly you can get up to five grams because the the scale goes beyond the markings but it's imprecise it's imprecise and because the topic of tracking force does come up so often I figured, you know what, let's invest and let's get the scale. And I'm saying that like tongue in cheek because it was only 12 bucks. So it's the generic one that there's 500 iterations of in different brand names. This one had, seemed to have good reviews. You'll notice it maxes out at five grams. However, it's not really a problem because it comes with a weight, a five gram weight, and you can add that weight and recalibrate it to go up to 10. So that'll be good this little case for it here's the weight five gram weight and a couple of button cell batteries that's kind of a bummer i wish it was either rechargeable or had a double a batteries i don't like button cell batteries even though it's, I, I always feel like somehow i feel like it's harder to get a hold of button cell batteries even though i know that's not really true because they're you know everywhere that any battery is but i don't know that's just my perception so this is the i soon io scale again it's the same exact scale See, I like how they they literally take the uh, time and energy to put a protective film on that so when you say when you read the made in china logo you are looking at a quality reflective label it's got little ref, uh, rubberized feet here a little battery compartment there so let's go ahead and stack our batteries in there just like so Hopefully they'll last a long time. I would think they would, because it's not like you're, you know, leaving this powered on for a long period of time. This slides off here, and there's the actual scale. Um, I'm not sure if they're all kind of angled up like that. I assume they are. I saw the pictures of this one, and it did, but it still had good reviews. So, And I know this is a cheap Chinese scale, but it should still serve our purpose as well. So let's go ahead and power it up. Uh, blue backlight, which is kind of nice. And let's see what happens. So we need to zero it out. It seems to be pretty sensitive just for my movements. And I guess this is memory. I'm not sure. Maybe I should read the instructions. <laughs> but let's put it down. Let's see what happens here. In fact, let's do this. I'm going to put it down here. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's zero it out. OK. Let's zero it out again. Okay, now I am going to put my five gram weight on. So it says full point, now it says 0.160 ounce. Oh, okay, so it's switching to different modes of reading. So it's going to ounces. Okay, so we want to go to grams. So there's different, different units of measurements. Okay, so there it is, five grams exactly. Now I believe we should be able to zero out of five grams and now it should go to negative five grams. Perfect. So now we can measure up to 10 grams with it. So really, really cool. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to turn the light off, which is exactly what I don't want to have happen because the power cord is going to cause me to trip and then I'm going to notice it and plug said power cord back in. Only the finest only the finest. All right, let's get the spinner right out because this is sort of what launched me into this whole world of thinking about this thing. Let's get this out of the way, this out of the way. Go back to a wider screen. For right now, get this out of the way. I really like this spinner. I want it to work. Let me go ahead and open the spinner. It's a cool design, and a lot of you mentioned that you agree with me but it seems to be tracking too heavy 
which is weird because this mechanism I've used it a lot in the past in fact I got out all of my turntables there are a few of them that had this mechanism the other night and I was like let's check this so I checked it on the analog gauge and there was variance which surprised me so apparently just because it has this mechanism doesn't mean it's going to track the same other people mentioned well did you unscrew this in the right way yes it's in the out position and lighter li lighter position but we're going to compare the two so let's put our scale back up here turn it back on it has a power off an automatic off which is cool we're zeroed out again so we need to recalibrate because what's going to happen is if i put this guy on here going to max out because it's more than five grams so what we're going to do is put the five gram weight on we're going to zero it out take the five gram weight off and now we add five to whatever this says there you go so now we know it is 6.11 grams so yeah that is pretty heavy and somebody mentioned too on that record that we were uh, looking at the other day that it may require a Shibata stylus if it's a uh, because of the fact that it's a quad core disc so maybe I picked a, a wrong record so why don't we go ahead and test another one here but just for grains let's go ahead and rotate the counterweight forward all the way and see where we get again we got to add five to whatever this says doesn't change it that much it goes up to six point five that's really interesting. So from 6.1 to 6.5. Really interesting. I'm putting it in the back position again. 1.1. This is cool. I like this scale. Why didn't I do this a long time ago? It's one of those things where I was like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Interesting. So it's only like, point three difference between the in and out position so it's 6.1 grams versus 6.5 grams really really interesting it, that's high but it's not terribly high it's not terribly high you know what let's take out a suitcase player this is fun i'm having fun doing something you guys probably did years ago but i'm gonna grab a suitcase player infamous suitcase player I think this is going to track between five and six grams, so let's find it. This is actually the only suitcase player I have, like cruiser type. This is LPN number one with a dreaded ceramic cartridge. It's going to carve your records. It's going to carve your records. First of all, let me say this. The um, ceramic cartridges, you can't track those at one and a half to two and a half, three and a half grams. They don't work that way. You have to have five grams minimum. Okay, so I'm gonna recalibrate this guy because we've been moving it around a little bit. Okay, well, it's zeroed out now. Come on, it's pretty dang close. Okay, it's zeroed out. But then when I take this off, it's a, it's a hair off, like 0 0.04. Close enough for us. Let's go ahead and lower our stylus. Try to put the needle right about where the dot is and find out once and for all. Wait, no, I'm doing this wrong. I have to zero it. No, wait, I don't have to zero it out. Okay, sorry. Find out once and for all. It's about six grams. 5.89. Interesting. Okay, so I wasn't that far off between five and six grams, and it's not that's tracks that's tracking lighter than the uh, magnetic cartridge in the other turntable. So interesting. This will be fun to play with and experiment with for twelve bucks. I would say it's definitely worth it. it seems to be you know well enough built for our purposes. It's not going to be like a you know super super you know top of the line accurate thing, but. For our purposes, it should serve us well. So I'll put a link in the description to the exact one I got in case you want to pick one up for yourself. I'll also put a link for this. A lot of people ditch the digital meters and go to these because they prefer them. So it's all kind of a it's a point of taste. And I'm going to experiment some more with the spinneret 
and see if I picked the wrong record to demo that day or if it truly is just, you know, too much weight. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for now. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.